Well, yeah, so you uh, <laughs> certainly made the most of your, your moment on stage yesterday. Uh, any regrets to, to start? No, not really. Uh, you know, just what happens, what happens. You know, it, wasn't, it really wasn't me who started it. And really, uh, you know, I just make sure I finish it, and that's the way it's going to be from now on. So, uh, you know, he didn't really want no tra trauma. So, you know, I'm just making sure I let him know right off the bat. Have you heard anything about I hope not. <laughs> you know, I ain't heard none yet, but uh, I'm expecting it when I get back to Vegas, probably, you know. Uh, if it was in Vegas, they probably would have gave me a harder time for it, but it really wasn't my, you know, he, he ran up on me. I don't know what you expect. He should have had his hands up, for one. Uh, I don't know, understand why he run up on somebody and, uh, you know, call for security to break a say. I ain't no security around here. Like, I'm I'm, I'm about it. So if, if security wasn't there, I, would, I was ready to throw the left hand after it. I just didn't want to hit my man in his bald head in the back because then it would have really been bad, you know. <laughs> were, you, were you surprised by his reaction? Because he didn't really insult his mom. Yeah, I was surprised by it. You know, I thought that he, I thought that he took it the wrong way. You know what I mean? Uh, I understand it a little bit, but at the same time, you know, to be a grown man, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta own up to that. Like, you know, that's on him. That ain't on me. Uh, if he think I said something, even if I would have said something bad about his mom, you know, you still, you got to control your emotions, you know. Uh, I'm kind of upset about it because it took away from what I'm, the point that I was trying to get across, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, on all my posts since they announced this fight, uh, I've been hashtagging 25 for life, uh, and it means something big to me, you know. I, a lot has been going on in my family. Uh, my brother, he is locked up right now. He gets out June 23rd, so... Hopefully, I'm praying to God that he gets home, he gets to see with my dad, and gets to see the fight. So, uh, you know, I made this hashtag 25 to life because I turned 25 this year, and I'm here to show him that I can be a world champion at 25 instead of, you know, what I'm supposed to be doing at 25. I'm supposed to be doing 25 at 25, if, you know what I mean? So, uh, I'll be a world champion at 25, and that's really for life. Why, why, is, he, why is he in prison? <laughs> Uh, I mean, it's it's over dumb. You know, he's my baby brother. You know, he's young uh, and just doing dumb shit. You know, like it, it, he really he really didn't even have to. You know, it's I don't really want to get into too. You know, I don't talk about it much. I don't really, you know, and, and it's the same thing with Kiesa. Like, I don't know what's going on with his family. I don't. I, and frankly, I don't give a fuck. Like, he, you know, we ain't friends. Like, I don't really care. He, he shouldn't care about mine. If he say something about my brother, I'm not going, you know, jump all and, you know, jump out the window in here or go King Kong. You know, uh, you know, I'm a grown man. I, I handle my, my emotions the way I handle them. And when, when I get into the cage, when I step across, when I run up on somebody, it ain't no emotion. So uh, if I run up on you, it's it's it, it's, it's serious business you know i'm not here to play pussyfoot around or whatever he's trying to do with it when, when is the last time you saw your brother uh i saw him three weeks ago so uh you know i get to see him i get to visit him but uh he'll be home june 23rd hopefully uh you know on good behavior so and, we'll see and you said that you know you're not really happy that it, it went down like that because it took away from your point but can you acknowledge the fact that there's a lot more buzz surrounding the fight i mean even sports center yeah started. yeah it's all right you know it's fun it's fun while it lasts uh you know for me like i you know i don't give a fuck about it you know i, I never did like I, this is just the way like people think i'm like putting on a something but like this is just the way i am you know i talk shit i get into fights like that's it like it, you can go back to my interviews when I was still in college when you know when I was doing amateur you know MMA like you know the only thing that changes is dudes like you not talking to me you know like before I was talking to little kids 14 year old you know uh with a little webcam you know and now you know that's the only thing that changed I ain't changing the shit I'm still the same so uh you know I don't understand it so who inspired that look by the way it was very uh, Russell Westbrook-esque that's right? what it was you know it's uh yeah yeah okay see we going to it so I'm I'm was showing them yeah oh, yeah I you see you see oh, see oh, yeah good. yeah the MVP the real MVP like so that. uh you know I start calling myself MTP so I'll rock I'll rock with it from now on Motown Fino yeah of course of course if you want to go hang out I got a lot of basketball friends too so you know like you know yeah I'll see if uh, I can reach out to him maybe we can get in touch with his people you know we'll hang out a little bit afterwards or something I'm sure he know how to, how to get down right. what was the main message you wanted to get across uh, yesterday and do you, do you want to take the opportunity now to do that uh, you know it's just to show that I'm different you know I think even people uh, took what I said about Connor the wrong way you know what I mean like I'm saying that he I mean it's true he He's taken from our culture, you know, like that's what he did. Like, it, you know, it, if you see him, that ain't the real him. He put on a character, you know what I mean? Like, and he's become that character just because he's played it for so long. But, you know, money don't make you real. Like, you know, I don't want to be like that. Like, I really don't. Like, I, I you know, I'm me. I'm always going to be me. And I really don't want to be nothing else. You know, this is how I grew up. This is what I am. 
he putting on that character because that's what sell tickets, that's what make money. But fuck that, man. I don't want to be like that. Like, man, yeah, people think you want to be like that just because you got money. Money don't make everything, you know what I mean? So, you know, I, I love the money. I love everything else with it. But uh, people that really know me and people, if, if you sit down and you talk to me for 10 minutes, you'll understand, like, what I say is real. Like, you'll feel the emotion. You'll feel the, you know, and he's going to feel the pain on June 25th. Like, you know, there's a lot of pain that goes into this shit, and I don't, I don't play around with it. Did you get any reaction from the UFC brass after what happened yesterday? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, no, they said I did the right thing. So he, you know, people take it the wrong. Like I just ran up and he ran up on me. He threw the left and I countered with the right hand on the inside. You know, uh, you don't see his left hand because I hit him first. So, you know, but he, he cocked back. All I saw was, you know, I'm, I'm from Detroit. Like if you run up on me, like, you you know, it's, it's what it is. So I just ain't hit him again because I didn't want to hit the, the ball head dude. And, uh, and he broke my goddamn glasses. You know how much some glasses cost? Oh, man, I'm so mad. I'm still mad about that. Yeah, and I'm glad it was like three grand, man. You know, it's a Detroit thing, the buffs. But, uh, you know, so I, oh, man. Two Buffaloes had to die to make them glasses, man. The Cartiers, man. I'm so mad still. <laughs> he was saying don't he told me to hit him again uh which is some bitch shit to me you know like he, he bitched out about the whole thing you know he's called security you know he's telling security to come up there and uh try and separate us and then uh during during the stare down he was trying to get me to hit him again and i'm like i didn't start you know i like i think people take it the wrong way you know and you know they they think i'm just out there thugging like i'm not you know i just stood up for myself that's it you know i ain't out there to hit nobody i don't like fighting for free for one i didn't did enough of that in my life no more fighting for free but at the same time you know we can get it in right here like it's it don't really make no difference to me so uh he was trying to get me to hit him but what the fuck i'm gonna hit him for i ain't i, ain't, I really ain't had no emotion in it he the one that got upset you see me i was out there laughing with it Dan white said that oh go ahead did you get any preview on that little uh scuffle that you're gonna bring <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's slow as molasses, and I can find and I can find that chin, you know. Like it was only it was only like half a punch, you know. My man pulled him away from it, and he still uh he still was bloodied up afterwards, and he was emotional as all fuck. So uh, if he want to come and do that, you know, I don't know what he was thinking. You know, I think he he either threw the left or he was trying to grab me or whatever he was trying to like. He think I'm gonna wrestle with him. Like this ain't no this ain't no wrestling match. His his best chance in this fight is to wrestle me, and uh, I can wrestle even better. And I get damn sure strike better. So we, we'll see. I hit harder. I'm much faster, much quicker. Uh, I got more experience for once. You know, this is the guy, you know, he only fight once a year. You know what I mean? His last fight was, two thousand what, 18 months ago or some shit like that? Like, you know, so he, he he's going to see it on fight night. Dana White told the media that uh, Kiesa told him that he would have made a bigger stink about it. But he said that if that's the hardest you can punch, then, you know, he's okay. And <laughs> I mean, I guess if that's the way he want to take it, uh, he didn't punch me at all. So, uh, so I don't know who won that battle. You know, uh, not only that, but you know, it was somebody pulling him away too, and I didn't want to hit the, you know, I didn't want to hit the ball head, dude. He was gonna really be pissed then. Then I really had to give up some money. And uh, one thing I won't take, I won't take him taking no money on my pocket. You know, I already broke my damn glasses. Wait, what did they, what did they have you do when they sent you to the back? Like, what were you doing? For the I rest was talking of to Sean, and Sean, Sean just was like, yeah, that's what happens. You know, you should have put his hand up i don't understand uh that's what i told sean and they was like they was like we gonna bring you back out for the for the i said i'm cool you know i'm cool i was cool in the first place uh i wouldn't have did nothing if he ain't run up on me so uh when they came to the back and they said do you want to do the stare down i said absolutely Ab and, you know absolutely i ain't got no if he swing again i'm gonna have to fuck him up but you know, absolutely, I'll do the stare down. I don't care. I'll keep talking shit to him. He can, you can charge him in here right now. I'll talk shit across the room. And you also, you also saw the the Jones Cormier thing. You actually were media. Yeah, yeah. you were the one who exposed the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Your, so thank you for that. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, they kind of doing the same thing. You know, they don't really. These dudes don't really want no static. Uh, Cormier, he's acting like he want to get to him. He had one dude holding him back. You know, it's same with Kiesa. He had one dude holding him back and let him hold. You know. I was pushing through and I actually had to apologize to my man afterwards because I, I kind of messed him up a little bit. I was slinging him around because I'm really trying to get at you. If I'm really get at you, I'm really trying to get at you. Cormier was the same way. You know, he's all the they, all these dudes, they all bark and no bite. Like, you know, he wasn't really trying to get at him. He could have got at him if he wanted to, you know. So uh, the whole time I'm sitting there laughing, I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> Good. I want to get my haircut this morning. People were talking about you. They don't even watch UFC. That's all. It's like, he, man, that league guy, he's about that life. <laughs> I 
I mean, I guess if that's the way they want to take it, but I was about that before that. So, you know, they'll see even more. You know, I'm young. I'm, I'm 24. You know, I'm about to be 25 this year. So uh, they're going to see me for many more years to come, and they're going to keep saying that. You know what I mean? They're going to keep with the he bought that life because it, it ain't never changed. It ain't never been no different. I want you to inside access to being the brother. We were talking about the whole who won the verbal between Jones and Cormier. <laughs> when – he, when he lost his composure and slipped into yeah. the end bomb, is that a sign that Jones is in his head? Because we know Cormier's a businessman. He's yeah. Done that yeah. He, 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 he does it as if we were around, around the streets or something. I mean, for one, I don't think, you know, I think somebody, like, if you say nigga, like you can say, you know, if a nigga can't call a nigga a nigga in 2017, then there's something wrong. You know what I mean? That's the, that's the, the start of it right there. That's just the proof that something's wrong. You know, you can sit up there, you can call everybody bitches, hoes, fuck, damn. You can say everything, but as soon as you call somebody, you know, a bitch nigga or something like that, everybody want to act weird, and everybody, even a black people, like want to get all tensed up. Like, it's just, you know, that's just the way we talk. Uh, I mean, that's the way Cormier is too, you know, like he said, he from he from Lafayette, Louisiana, you know, he's, he has to become professional in order to, you know what I mean, he can't, you can't go out there and say, fuck shit damn either, you know what I mean, so, he does what he does, but at the end of the day, he's a real one, you know, so, I think he should let that side out even more, uh, the same with Jones, I think they should let that side out even more, I hate that Jones, you know, and Cormier both, they put on that, especially Jones, you know, he puts on that fake, like, you know, I'm holy, you know, he kind of put on that bullshit, you know, oh, he do, like, man, when you in the back with Jones, like, he, he dropping all types, of, he like, what up, though, like, you know, he's, he dropping all the time. He just don't talk like that to y'all, which is something that I don't understand. You know, I'm, I'm going to be me regardless. You know, when you see him in the back versus when you see him on the cameras, it's totally a different dude. So <laughs> I had to give it to Jones. Uh, DC is definitely emotional in it. Uh, it doesn't you can't bring emotions to the fight game at all. Uh, if you get you know, you can you can rile the dude up. You can even pretend to be emotional. Uh, but if you bring Emotion into the fight game, you 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 already showing that you in it, that he's in his head. You know, uh, I think that loss means a lot to DC. DC's a great competitor, and I I really think that he don't think that he can beat him. So that's why he gets uh, you know emotional about it. And uh, it's the same way with Kiesa. You know, he couldn't he couldn't find nothing else to say to me because I was ignoring him and I just kept talking over him. And that that's why he got so mad, you know what I'm saying? Just from mentioning the word mom, like I ain't even say nothing bad about the man's mom, you know? That's just because he can't do nothing else. So DC is the same way, he can't do nothing else. So the only thing he can show is anger. And to me, that's weakness, you know? If you're showing anger, if you're showing emotion, that's weakness. Final question, it's very confirmed that Jones had a cocaine binge and all that stuff. <laughs> But the fact that he did what he did and he wasn't like taking the fight serious, does that kind of mess with you as a fighter? Now, this guy was he can do that because he in 205, you know. Look at the division. Who's there? You know what I mean? Them dudes can't really, you know, the dudes that he fight, you know, he fighting guys. If they was at 155, all them dudes would barely be in the top 30. You know what I'm saying? So he can do that. He can get away with it because he's a bigger dude. And, you know, he's just more athletic and more naturally talented than them. Uh, we can't do that down here. You know, we at 155, it's a, it's a fucking shark tank. You, gonna, you know, you can lose on any given night to any one of the top 50, really. Uh, you can't, you can't give it, you can't give that up. He can because he's at 205. Same way with the heavyweights, you know, they just out there, they just sling around. They, there's no real, to me, as a, as a fighter, when I look at them, there's no real talent there. You know what I'm saying? Like Jones is, is what he is because he has talent. You know, uh, the rest of those dudes at 205, they just don't. One of those lightweights, just in case you were sitting there cheering on the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like Justin. You know, we've been hanging out the whole week. You know, we we talking shit. I, I, I to be honest, like I, I talk with everybody. I actually knew Kiesa before this. Me and Kiesa trained together. I think that's what's uh, cause he know like you know I'm gonna fuck him up. Uh, we actually trained together. I like him. I started the conversation with I like this man. Uh, so you know, Gaethje's cool, but you know, if we schedule to fight, I'm gonna whip out the yo mama jokes just like anybody else. So, uh, you know. It ain't gonna make no difference, you know. Him, Michael Johnson, Kiesa, Connor, Nate, Tony. It don't matter, you know. All of them, they they can all get it. So if me and Justin was was to be scheduled to fight, uh, best believe he wouldn't like me either. Is your mama jokes off limits now with Kiesa though? Probably, yeah. <laughs> nah, probably, yeah. Nah, I like keeping my money in my pocket, but I got a couple more up my sleeve that I'll pull out, you know. Uh, and, and and again, I don't really talk bad about nobody's family because. It ain't because 
of them is because of me. You know what I'm saying? Like, he shouldn't give a fuck. Even if I did make a your mama joke, like, he shouldn't give a fuck. Like, what, what do you care for? You know, it's, we all here be friends. But uh, I don't do it just because personally I don't think it's right. You know, you shouldn't you shouldn't bring another man's family into it. But if I do, so the fuck what? So what? I said something about your mama. Do something June 25th about it. How or do it right now. Don't call security. Do it right now. You know, do what you're going to do. How are things with Ally Quinta these days? <laughs> you know, me and Al are best friends. Right. Uh, I'm laying off of him just because the man's down in the dumps, man. He don't know what he's doing. He needs a good management. He needs a PR person. He needs something. Uh, the man going to be fired, so it really ain't no... It really ain't nothing in in it for me to keep hyping a fight that just ain't going to happen. He's never going to get back to this level. Uh, I think he should have just, you know, they throwing him softballs like Diego Sanchez. Take the softball, say thank you. So what? They screw you on the bonus. They screwed me on the bonus in this last fight. Uh, they didn't give me the bonus because I flipped off the Brazilian crowd. Uh, I still think they should, by the way, because <laughs> Kelvin Gaslam did uh, pop. So I think they take his bonus away. The rightful owner is that. But... They didn't even give me a warning beforehand. Hey, don't flip off the crowd. We might not give you a bonus. I didn't flow a, throw a hissy fit and say, fuck you, fuck everybody. Like, and 50 G is a lot of money, you know. Uh, he throwing this hissy fit bullshit. He, I think he's trying to get fired. Whatever he's trying to do, I'm going to buy a house from the man in New York. You know, I hear he's a really good real estate agent. So after I beat Kiesa, you know, I'll make over six figures. I'll, I'll go and buy a house in New York. All right. It's fun, you know. Uh, the media is always fun. I try and do as much media as I can anyway just because I, I like it and, it and I have fun with it. But uh, I'm built for five rounds, you know. And even in the UFC fights that I haven't finished, the dude was ready to go up out of there in the third round. So I'm built for five. Uh, you can see that throughout my whole career. Uh, you know, especially when, when we get in there, he's going to know. He's going to know about a minute, minute and a half into the fight that he's outclassed. But I'm built for five rounds. So I like it even more. You know, I can pick and I, I'm, a, I'm a very smart fighter. You know, I'm not a brawler. I don't get in there and just, you know, throw down. Like, I, I, I pick and I can strategize a lot more with five rounds as opposed to three. You said that, you know, you trained together. Do you think that you popped up on his radar just now, like you said, at the press conference? Nah, nah, he been, he been, come on. Nah, he, the man just don't fight enough, you know what I mean, that he can, that he can say that. It's because he ain't fought in, how, he only fight once a year, so. Uh, but when we trained together a couple years ago, he, he, come on, he, he know, he know the deal. Like, all, all the dudes that I train with, they all know. I, I still train with him anyway because I don't give a fuck. I'll train with you and I'll fight you the next day. What's up? Like, you know, it, it really ain't no, it really ain't nothing about me, you know.